let's start with the front of the car. Now, you may remember from the TV series, obviously the car was black. It had uh, the pinstriping, which is nice and thick. But since I was about one year old when this thing came out, I couldn't tell you whether the pinstripe was actually red or orange. It's orange here, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that, you know, what was original, what wasn't. This thing is cool. This is the original car. It has been redone and people just love it. But unless you get up close and personal, you may miss a few things like these. Turn signal lights, pretty cool. In the center, you may remember from the Corgi toy, this thing would fold out and there'd be a saw blade that would come out of it. Not so much in this car. But one thing interesting about the front of this car are these little things. Sprinkler heads. Now pretty much all of you know that the basis for this car was the Lincoln Futura concept car. But there's really not any of that in this car at this point. The wheels are pretty cool too. Standard regular mag type wheel, except this thing, it doesn't rotate. It stays just the way it is. Here's the custom Barris badge, along with a Hot Wheels sticker that definitely wasn't original. But the badge is pretty cool. Let's look at that up close. No mirrors on this car because it's got a screen on the inside. I'm not sure it's as effective as, you know, the screens of new cars nowadays, but who cares? What's behind you? Doesn't matter. The rear is interesting. It also has the same kind of mesh as up in the front that they use for the lights, but it's got this thing. I, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's kind of like a, a pipe cap. Of course, it has parachutes, although in this car, there's two of them, one here and one over here. And of course, the flame comes out of here. Not a place I want to be when it's driving. I have no idea what this thing is. It's kind of just a thing. There's the rocket launchers, which are basically pipes off the tail end of the car. of some sort it doesn't really do much of course the bat lights across the top which do light up it's kind of cool not much functionality to them but it does look nice of course the glass canopy in the back and in the front cool as the outside is, the inside is much cooler. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Let's start with taking a look around. This is the compass up front. Driver's perspective. Steering wheel. center we got a few of these anti-theft activity buttons actually they're just lights console has a screen otherwise known as the bat scanner some gauges down below and a few of these guys Works pretty good. Obviously, this extinguisher would be used to extinguish other people's cars. On the passenger
passenger side where Robin would sit. The seat is up a little bit higher, I guess because he's a little bit shorter. He also gets to play with the stereo. And the bat radar. So there you have it, the 1966 Batmobile on display here at the Murphy Museum. Not much longer, car's gonna be leaving soon. But it's not a bad example for what you can build in three weeks back in 1966. Just came out to see if Kathy's here, and she is. She's driving right over there, coming this way.